Then look at Vietnam. Vietnam has made a very important decision to go with China. It was not well reported, but Vietnam has agreed that Hanoi will be linked to Kunming and Nanning by high-speed rail. This is big, because each connection is tens of billions of dollars and will change the topological configuration of, log of logistics and supply chain and human movement for decades to come. The Vietnamese held back this decision for a long time, but they're cracking down on corruption. China is now an inspiration to the general secretary, but he's having one hell of a fight in Vietnam. But I think in the end, they have no choice. Because if the Communist Party is termite-ridden, there's no hope for Vietnam. They know it. And they didn't fight the French and Americans. Nothing. And just this month, just maybe today, I think, they are celebrating the 70th anniversary of the victory over the French in Dien Bien Phu. Generations died to secure the independence. They are not going to throw it all away by allowing corrupt officials to take over the country. And they're watching China and the way it's going. So they will, they will take that same route. Indonesia, Prabowo, first visit to China. People scratch their heads. Why did he do that? And when he met Xi Jinping, it was Xiao Ti talking to Taka, but little brother talking to big brother. But when he went to Japan, then his brother talking to brother. Hmm. But don't be mistaken, because Southeast Asians have seen China in early incarnations. They know the Chinese like all these things. So when they go to China, they will bow and they will scrape and so on. But it doesn't mean that they are servile inside. And if interests are involved, they will assert themselves, as we see in the Philippines. But it's part of Li, you know, it's part of the ritual of relations with China. And you look at the other countries, Laos, Cambodia, Thailand, Malaysia, Brunei. No one wants China to be an enemy. And the Americans don't understand this yet. That because China is getting bigger and bigger for us, all of us want the Americans to be in the room. But if the Americans say, no, we have to choose between China and us, then we say, no, we, we can't. How can we choose? I mean, China is where our side of the bread is buttered, you know? But if they don't ask us to choose, then every door, every window is open to the Americans. And they, do, they will not have to pay a cent. I think eventually they will come to this realization. The Europeans and Japanese already know it. But it will take time. And this is a transition that unfortunately we have to go through.